Hey guys, Eddie here, and this is my 2017 Corvette Grand Sport, and this video is going to be about the competition seats that I ordered with it. As a heads up to a future video that I'm about to do, um, I have purchased and had the Expel paint protection film uh, installed around the whole car except for the back, and I'm going to do a video about that whenever I get a chance. But this video is about the competition seats, so let's go ahead and take a look. First and foremost, this is a $2,000 option. Um, I absolutely needed it on my car, to be honest with you. There was no, nothing that was gonna convince me to get the GT bucket seats. I wanted the competition seats, I wanted them with suede, so I went ahead and got them. So that's the view from the side. And in this video, I'm going to open up the back here so y'all can see what it looks like. It has this uh, finish. On the back, that's like a glossy black. And looking, looking at them from the front, they have this carbon fiber touch to it, which matches the, as I pan around, the carbon fiber on the interior quite nicely, it all matches. And then you get the carbon fiber on the steering wheel here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get into the car so y'all could see how challenging or not so challenging it is to get in but first and foremost these are not adjustable I think on the GT bucket seats those are adjustable but basically your only adjustments for this particular um, car are to move the seats forward and back to kind of recline the back of the seat like so and then you do have lumbar support on it but these are not adjustable and I guess this is to bring the seat forward. Okay, so that's, those are the seats, looking at them from here. Let's go ahead and get in. Okay, so I'm sitting inside of the car now, inside of my Corvette, and these are the competition seats, as you know, because you're watching the damn video. Um, I am 5'11", I weigh 175 pounds. Um, I probably struggled a little bit getting inside and outside of the car just now, because yesterday was leg day and I'm pretty sore. Um, and you probably noticed my green shoes, those are a tribute to, to my Mini that I had that I miss so dearly. Um, if you haven't driven a Mini, it's kind of like a Miata type of experience, you know, if you've driven it before, you'll love it. But anyway, this is not about the Mini Cooper I used to own, instead this is about my car. So, these are the bolsters that are behind me, I wore kind of like a tight shirt so you guys can have an idea of what it looks like to sit inside of this as I spit on my console. Um, you know, it's comfortable for what it is, all things considered. Um, you could go ahead and, you know, you can move your arms around without any problems. Not that you're going to be doing that much, but this is the way it looks. If you look at something cool, check out that glass roof. I love that option. This is just amazing that I have natural lighting in here uh, when I'm driving during the day. But these are the competition seats. And uh, if you have any other questions or comments, just let me know. Um, they have side bolsters here on the hips, but they're not they're not too tight um, I really like this these bolsters in the back better than on the GT bucket seats I know that they're adjustable on the GT bucket seats but I didn't have a chance to sit down and play with them I also like the way they look I mean I've tried to see where you can hook up the four point restraints on this um, and I didn't see any particular hooks for it I guess it's something that needs to be drilled into the car but just this, this carbon fiber here the way it looks with the with the holes it just looks kick-ass to me i really enjoy it um one thing i will say is that this the glossy 
part on the back of the of the seats does scratch pretty easily so you need to take care of it also fingerprints do occur on it quite often so don't touch it much um, I'm not the one that touches it in my car there's another little passenger that hangs out with me who likes to touch things <laughs> um, so yeah that's basically the those are basically the competition seats, two thousand dollar option I recommend you you pick them up if you fit first of all I have a buddy who sat in my car the other day he didn't fit um, it is November guys so support your no shave November initiative or your Movember initiative uh, it's important for men's health for prostate cancer testicular cancer awareness as well as men's mental health awareness um, every other foundation has their month this is our month as guys and I say our month because 95% of the people who watch my video are men um, and I understand why I mean this is a car enthusiast even though I've been pleasantly surprised with the females who've left me comments uh, on my page it definitely welcome the female car enthusiast community so that's basically it hope you enjoyed the video if you have any questions regarding the competition seats just feel free to give me a comment or uh, send me a message and I'll get back to you when I can thanks a lot